welcome to team power and the power of choice. You and your store are going to be operating as a team to represent the largest manufacturer of video games in the industry, Nintendo. Nintendo is committed to passing on the fun and excitement of video games to each of our customers. And you've been selected this holiday season to help each of those customers understand the excitement of each of our games. I'm Shelley Saunders, training supervisor at Nintendo's Consumer Service, and I'll be your guide as you go through this training program. As a Nintendo product demonstrator, we have four tasks we'd like you to meet. The first is to help our consumers make an informed choice about which Nintendo product and accessory is right for them. Your second task as a product demonstrator is to impart the strength and commitment Nintendo has to its three systems. Your third task is to help the consumer experience the fun and excitement of each of our video game systems through the use of hands-on displays. And your fourth task as a Nintendo product demonstrator is to answer any questions the consumer may raise about our competitive programs. In order to help you reach your task, we've divided the training into three sections. In the first section, we'll show you how to set up your Mario stand-up display. We'll show you all the different resources that you have to use while helping the customer. We'll also cover Nintendo's complete product line, its three systems and all the accessories, key features and benefits of each one of those. In the second section of the training, we'll be covering things like common questions a consumer may raise how to answer those difficult competitive questions, things like our world-class service and support that Nintendo maintains for each of its products. In the third section of training, we'll cover the daily routine tasks that you need to be aware of, how to fill out the proper paperwork in order to get paid, how to fill out an evaluation and send us back how successful you've been as a product demonstrator. Just like everything at Nintendo, we want this training to be fun. In order to assist you with the gameplay of the training, we've designed a contest just for you. At three different times throughout the video, you'll hear this music. When you do, get ready with a pencil and paper. We'll be giving you a pair of numbers at three different points in the video for a total of six digits. At the end of this training, we'll show you how to fill out an evaluation form and put that six digit code on the evaluation form. When you're done with your job duties at the end of December, we're going to ask you to return the binder, your apron, as well as the evaluation with that six-digit code. When we receive the information back, we will send you a Nintendo pen, a Mario pin, and a Super NES ruler. For returning your evaluation, the binder, and the apron, along with that six-digit key code, You'll have your name entered into a raffle to win one of five great prizes. First prize is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. Second prize is the NES Sports Set. Third prize is the NES Power Set. Fourth prize is the NES Action Set. Fifth prize will be a Game Boy System. Remember, the only way to get your secret six-digit code is to listen closely to this videotape. Once again, we'd like to welcome you to the Nintendo Power Team and the power of choice. We've included a binder with the training that will give you a lot more detailed information to read through after completing this video. In the back of the binder, you'll find a certificate of achievement we've created just for you. Thanks and welcome aboard. Before going any further, let's make sure you have all your supplies. The first thing you should have found in your box is the stand-up Mario display. It has detailed instructions and you'll want to take some time to set them up before we go any further. Included in the resources, you'll find 1 to 200 of the following brochures. The Power of Choice brochure, the Super Nintendo Entertainment brochure, Game Boy brochures, and the NES brochure with Dr. Mario on the front. The most important brochure that you have available to you is the one labeled The Power of Choice. This brochure gives you detailed information as well as answers the most common questions about our three systems. On the back it includes information for our consumer service hotline, our Nintendo World Class Service Center referral hotline, and our Gameplay Counselor hotline. You'll also find about 200 Super Nintendo Entertainment System hookup posters, one to three buttons, 
Attached to the back of your Mario stand-up, you'll find three Nintendo Power Player guides. Mario Mania, NES Game Atlas, and the Game Boy Player's Guide. In the back of your binder, you'll find the following laminated sheets. One is two-sided and has the feature comparison chart. This chart gives you detailed information about Nintendo's system versus our most common competitive brands. At the bottom, it has technical terms made easy, and you can use this when talking to consumers when they want to know what Mode 7 or 16-bit means. On the other side is a comparison chart for all the Nintendo of America systems, the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the NES, and the Game Boy. You can use this side to help consumers determine which product is best for them. You'll also find a set of product line sheets. These laminated sheets show you pictures of each of Nintendo's products and accessories. They also explain key features and benefits. The last set of laminated sheets are common questions that consumers may ask. Feel free to use this sheet and actually show the consumer the answers available to you. You will also find the following smaller items. One small screwdriver, one apron, one hat, three keys that will fit the displays, one pre-addressed Federal Express envelope, and one set of instructions for the assembly of the stand-up Mario. If you are missing any of the items we've talked about, turn to the section labeled Supplies and call 1-800-875-1852. As a Nintendo product demonstrator, we would like you to be casual yet professional. Make sure you always wear nice slacks or pants and a nice shirt or blouse. You can also wear a sweater. We would like you to wear the apron as well as the Super Nintendo Entertainment System hat. Included with your starter kit are one to three buttons. Ask me about the Super NES, ask me about the sports set, and ask me about F1 Race. Wear the button on the right pocket that most represents the product your store has in stock. The first two numbers for the secret key code are 03. 03. Now let's move to our Mario stand-up display. You'll see wires attached to three Nintendo Player's Guides. These three Player's Guides give you detailed information about gameplay. And when you have a game player who's stuck in a challenging game, make sure you refer them to these three Player's Guides. You'll also see included a stack of Super NES hookup posters. When you have a consumer who's concerned about how to do a hookup, you can hand out one of these posters and it will detail it for them. At the bottom of your Mario stand-up display, you'll find four compartments. In each compartment, put the brochures you receive with your starter set. You should keep your compartments well stocked. If you need additional supplies, turn to that section of the binder and call the 1-800 number provided. Now let's show you how to put the brochures in your apron. You want to take a few of each type of brochure and put them in the two pockets provided. Put the Game Boy and the NES brochures in one of the pockets and the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in the Power of Choice brochure in the other pocket. You'll also want to make sure that you carry the laminated sheets that were provided in the back of the binder in each one of the pockets. That way they'll be easily accessible when a consumer has a question. Now that we've shown you how to set up your Mario stand-up display, we'd like to cover in detail Nintendo's complete product line. Nintendo is committed to bringing only the highest quality video game technology to the market. Key to that commitment is bringing out games that come with our systems. We'd like to start with our first system, the 8-bit Nintendo Entertainment System, also called the NES. We have four different system configurations, the first of which is called the Control Deck System. The Control Deck System is designed for expandability. The set includes the Control Deck, two controllers, the AC adapter, and everything you need to set it up to any standard television set. The second NES system available to our consumers is the NES Sports Set. The NES Sports Set is for sports enthusiasts of all ages. This system plays the entire NES game library, plus allows from one to four players to play specifically designed four-player simultaneous games. The set includes the control deck, four controllers, the NES satellite, 
with six size C batteries, a dual game pack including Super Spike V-Ball and Nintendo World Cup Soccer, as well as the AC adapter, audio video cables, and RF switch for hookup. The third NES system available is the Action Set. The Action Set was designed for those children who'd like to play the Zapper light gun. It comes with a control deck, two controllers, the NES Zapper light gun, and a dual game pack containing Duck Hunt for use with the light gun and Super Mario Brothers. It also includes the AC adapter, the RF switch, and all the components you need to set up the system. The fourth NES system is the Power Set. The Power Set is the ultimate system for combining fun with fitness. This set includes the control deck, two controllers, the NES Zapper, and the NES Power Pad. It contains three game packs. Duck Hunt for use with the Zapper Gun, World Class Track Meet for use with the Power Pad, and the famous game Super Mario Brothers. Nintendo's most advanced video game system is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, also known as the Super NES. This system offers thousands of colors and up to four layers of scrolling screens which provide dazzling 3D graphics. It also includes digital stereo sound to help bring new excitement to video game play. It's like playing in a movie. This system includes the control deck, two high-tech controllers, the game pack Super Mario World, the AC adapter, RF switch, and stereo audio video cables. Nintendo's portable video game system is Game Boy. It brings the power of the NES to the palm of your hand. Game Boy is a unique portable video game system featuring high-quality graphics, sound, and performance. The Game Boy is packaged with stereo headphones, the Game Link allowing up to two players to play at once, the Game Pack Tetris, and four AA batteries that allow you to play up to 30 hours. Now let's cover all the NES accessories. In addition to the NES controllers included with every system is the NES Max. The NES Max is a horseshoe shaped controller allowing maximum control, 360 degree control button, and two turbo buttons. The next NES controller is the NES Advantage. This controller features a joystick just like used in the arcades. It also has variable rate turbo control as well as slow motion for games that have the slow motion function programmed in. The next NES accessory is the NES 4 score. This controller allows you to play four players simultaneously on games that allow four players simultaneous play. It also allows all NES controllers to have the additional turbo function. This controller also works with all NES controllers except the zapper gun and power pad. The next NES accessory is the satellite. This is a remote control accessory, which means there's no cords that attach to the control deck. This accessory allows you to also play with four player simultaneous games. This accessory adds the extra function of turbo to all controllers attached to it. This works with all NES controllers, the Max, the Advantage, as well as the Power Pad and the Zapper Light Gun. The Zapper Light Gun is for use with all NES systems. It is included with the Power Set as well as the Action Set. The Zapper Light Gun is used with games like Duck Hunt and Barker Bill's Trick Shooting. The NES Power Pad is an interactive mat used to control the character's image on the video screen. It's great with games like World Class Track Meet, and remember, it's included with the Power Set. Now let's cover the accessories available for the Game Boy. The first accessory is the rechargeable battery pack and AC adapter. When this is plugged into the wall, it works like an AC adapter. When it's fully charged after eight hours, it can be removed and used as a battery pack for up to 10 hours of continuous play. This is a great stocking stuffer item. There are two carrying cases available for the Game Boy. One is the hip pouch and will allow you to carry around the AC adapter. The other carrying case available for the Game Boy is one that attaches to your belt loop. You can put in four games as well as the Game Boy unit. Also available for the Game Boy is the four player adapter. This allows you to connect with three of your friends for four player game interaction. Available for all three systems are the cleaning kits. Everything you need to keep each control deck and all your game packs clean are included in each one of these kits. Next, we'll be talking about the different displays available in each of your stores.
Your stores may not have all the displays shown in this section. They should, however, have at least one interactive display or a control deck and TV setup so customers may get hands-on gameplay. If not, please call 1-800-875-1852. Hi, I'm Jake Jacobson, a display coordinator at Nintendo of America. As part of your job, you're going to be working with some of our point of purchase interactive displays. Two of these are single player and dual player Game Boy countertop units. First, we'll talk about the single player Game Boy countertop unit. Some things you'll need to know about the Game Boy itself. On the face of your Game Boy, you have several control keypads here. The first one being the black directional control, which allows you movement from left or right, top or bottom. Two gray colored uh, oblong keypads. The first one being the start, which is on the right hand side. The second being the select on the left hand side. And then two magenta or purple buttons, the A and the B button. To start a game, you press the start button. That'll take you to, to a, an option screen. You may need to use your directional keypad and your select keypad for different options on those, and then press start to go on to the next screen. Press start consecutively until you begin the game, and then you utilize your directional keypad for directions, up, down, left, and right, and your A and B buttons for different options during gameplay. The A and B buttons are programmed different for each different game, and you will uh, need to read the directions at the beginning of the game to find out exa the exact use of these keys. With your demonstrator kit, you'll be receiving a key ring with three different keys on it for the different uh, interactive displays. This particular display, the Game Boy Single Interactive that we were just looking at, utilizes one of two different keys. One of them is marked with the number MM101. The other key could be CH751. You may have to try either one of those to open the back of this. To open the back, simply insert your key into the lock, turn, and flip the door open. You'll need to know this and to do this to gain access inside to change the game pack and adjust the volume of the display. The first thing we're going to do is adjust the volume. That's attained on the left hand side with this uh, small aluminum shaft sticking out with a rubber grommet on it. To adjust the volume, simply turn it clockwise to turn the volume up and counterclockwise to turn the volume down. Down below here to change game packs and turn power on and off. You your power switch is this little button right here. You flip it to the right to turn your power off and to the left to turn it back on. You must flip it to the right to turn the power off before removing the game pack. To remove the game pack, press your fingers underneath the game pack, push up, and pull out. That removes the game pack, and you can place a different game pack or the same game pack back in. To replace the game pack, make sure the label is facing downward Insert it back into the game pack slot, push firmly to seat the game pack, and turn your power back on. Now that we've covered the Game Boy Single Countertop Interactive Display, let's move on to the Game Boy Dual Countertop inter Interactive Display. Remember, with each Game Boy, you get a video link cable, four AA batteries, a game pack, and stereo headphones. Stereo is displayed with each one of our Game Boy displays, and with the Dual Interactive, you can also demonstrate the head-to-head -head combat or head-to-head -head play with the video link cable which is included inside this display. To demonstrate head-to-head -head competition using the game link cable, you must first reset each Game Boy using the four key reset. Once both are reset, you must select two player option on both Game Boys. Remember, you must have the same game pack in each of the Game Boys to do this. The electronics inside the Game Boy Dual Wide Countertop Display are identical to those inside the Game Boy Single Wide Countertop Display. To open the back of the Dual Wide Countertop Display, use key number MM101, turn the key and open the back of the display. Inside of the display, your electronics may be mounted on each side of the display for each Game Boy, or they may be in the bottom of the display, as is the case with this unit here. On each board, you'll find the aluminum shaft with the rubber grommet sticking out of the side for your volume control. Turn the rubber grommet clockwise or counterclockwise to adjust your volume. Also inside, you can access the Game Boy power switch and the Game Boy game pack. Turn the power switch off by pushing to the right. Again, push pressure upward on the game pack and pull outward to change the game pack. 
To replace the game pack, make sure your label is facing down. Push the game pack in, seat firmly, and push your power switch to the left to turn back on. This is the Game Boy dual wide floor display, similar to the Game Boy dual wide countertop display. Some of these units have been modified with video units inside that reflect the images from the screen on the Game Boy so that other customers can view a particular player's actions. This unit is also set up utilizing the video link cable so that players may play head to head. Remember again, you must have the same game pack in both Game Boys before you can play head to head competition. To play head to head competition, reset both Game Boys using the four key reset, select two player option, and have a ball. To gain access to the electronics inside of the Game Boy dual wide floor display, utilize your key number MM101, open the door, being very careful not to drop this on your feet. Open the door, reach up inside, and adjust your volume control, or to change the game pack, you will need to turn off the power on the Game Boy, pull out the game pack, put in your new game pack, make sure the label is facing down, and turn the power back on. Then you can close the door and you're back in operation. This is the Game Boy single player floor display, very similar to the Game Boy single player countertop display. To gain access to the electronics inside the display, use your MM101 key, place it into the lock at the top center of the unit, open the key and drop the front panel down. Inside the display, on the left hand side, you'll find your electronic amplifier board. Your volume control is standing straight up. Turn that clockwise to increase volume, counterclockwise to decrease the volume. On the back of the unit, on the back of the panel, you'll find your Game Boy. To change game packs, you turn the power switch off, pull your game pack out by applying pressure and lifting up. To place a new game pack back in, press the game pack down into the unit, make sure your label is pointing toward the rear of the display, and press firmly and turn your power back on. This concludes the Game Boy Interactive Displays. This is the Nintendo Entertainment System 12 game selectable display. Use of this display is very easy. First, select a game utilizing the game select switch on the front. The ends of the game packs are labeled just inside the windows and numbered to the left of each game pack. Select your game, take your controller, and press start. The game will take you through a series of screens to set up the game. Once you started the game, the controller is used as some of the others that we have talked about and some we will talk about. The keypad is utilized for directional movement, up, down, left, right. Your start and select were used to start the game, and your start can also be used to pause the game at any point. Your A and B buttons are used to move icons up and down, jump around, etc. With this unit, Either one player or two players may be used, depending on the game selected. Also, certain games allow use of the orange zapper gun. These games will utilize the left controller and the zapper gun when used. This display was provided without a monitor to your store. The store provided the monitor and has the information on how to adjust volume. Please check with your store personnel. This is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System countertop display. This display actually uses a Super Nintendo Entertainment System in it. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System controller has keys very, very similar to the Nintendo Entertainment System and the handheld Game Boy. You have your control directional pad to move items left, right, top to bottom, your start and select buttons to begin the game, and your start button will also present a pause in the middle of the game if necessary. Your A and B buttons to cause items to jump, move, spin, etc. You also have added for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System an X and Y button and a right and left button on the top. All four of those buttons are programmed specific to each game. You should read the directions either at the beginning of the game on the screen or consult the operator's manual for that game. Next we'll replace the game pack. To gain access inside of the secure cover, take your LL419 key, place it into the lock on the side, turn the lock which pops up the plastic security cover, 
flip the cover forward and down. Inside, you turn your power off by sliding the power button toward the front of the display. To remove the game pack, push down on the eject button, which is located in between the power and the reset buttons. That pops up the game pack. Remove the game pack, and then take your new game pack, place into the game pack slot, push down firmly to seat the game pack, and your power switch back on. Close the plexiglass security cover, lock it. Now we'll discuss adjusting the volume on this unit. The volume control is located on the right-hand side of the display, just above the timer block circuit. These little switches set the timing for the display. This, your store personnel should handle that. With a small screwdriver, there's a volume adjustment just above that. It looks like a small screw. Take your screwdriver and turn clockwise to increase the volume and counterclockwise to decrease the volume. Next, we'll talk about the Super Nintendo Entertainment System floor interactive display. This is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System interactive floor display, very similar to the Super Nintendo Entertainment System countertop display. The electronic housing is identical to the countertop display. You can gain access with, through the keyhole on the side to flip the plexiglass security cover and do your operations inside. The controllers also work identical to the countertop display. The difference with this, one, the stereo speakers are located above your head here. And there's also a bass speaker underneath the secure tray. The other major difference is the sound adjustment, which is inside the right-hand panel. To gain access inside the Super Nintendo Entertainment System floor display, take your LL419 key, locate the lock on the back of the display near the right-hand panel, place your key in that, and unlock the lock. Grasp the panel with the fing your fingernails or a small screwdriver. Open the side of the display. Next, we're going to adjust the volume. But before we do that, I'm going to give you two more of those numbers you've been hearing about. And those numbers are 2 and 7. Again, those special numbers are 2 and 7. Now, to adjust your volume on this display, inside the display, locate again the switches to set the timing. Right above that, you'll find that small screw head where you take your small screwdriver and turn that small screw head to adjust your volume. Turning clockwise increases the volume, turning counterclockwise decreases the volume. This concludes the Super Nintendo Entertainment System interactive displays. This is the Game Boy LaserDisc interactive display, one of three LaserDisc interactives that allow you to show over 40 game titles to your customers. Each LaserDisc interactive has three lettered uh, keypads and five numbered keypads. To select a category on each one of these displays, press a le lettered keypad. In this case, we'll try no uh, letter A. After selecting your desired category, a menu will appear with five different options that you can select from. In this particular case, we have action, fantasy action, adventure, movie action, or strategy. Let's go ahead and select three, adventure. After making your selection, the display will show your gameplay footage for one or more games. To adjust the volume on the unit, take your set of keys and select key number 2007. Open the lock on the front of the display, which opens the door, exposing the television and the laser disc player. To change your volume, select your plus or minus volume keys to raise or lower the volume. Close the display and lock it again. If you have any problems with this display, be sure to call Impart Incorporated at 1-800-875 1852. This is the second unit of our three LaserDisc interactive displays. This particular display is utilized to depict the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, the Nintendo Entertainment System, as well as game titles that are featured in the Nintendo Power Magazine. The operation of this unit is identical to the other two units with the ABC and 1 through 5 numbered buttons. To select any one of the major categories, press that letter. In this case, we'll press A. Wait a second, and a menu will come up depicting different categories within that main category that you can select from. In this case, say we want to view arcade games, we would select number four. And this will bring up a segment of gameplay footage for arcade games. Now, again, to change the volume on this unit, just as it is with the other units, take your 2007 key, open the front keypad, 
flip it down. Your volume controls will be at the bottom of the television set. You can adjust your volume up or down. Once you've adjusted the volume to your satisfaction, close and lock the front of the display. Many of this, these displays have been retrofitted with a, a backlit topper depicting the Super Nintendo Entertainment System logo. If your store does not have this backlit topper, please call 1-800-875-1852. Tell these people who you are, what store you are in. They will dispatch a merchandiser out to that store to investigate the situation. This is the third of three LaserDisc interactive displays. This display has only been partially modified to show you what the display looks like without the Super Nintendo Entertainment System topper on it. Should you see a display without this topper or with this keypad, be sure to call 1-800-875-1852. This keypad works very similar to the other keypads. The categories are slightly different. Here we have the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, Game Boy, and then original Nintendo Entertainment System for the selections A, B, and C. Operation for this keypad is identical to the other keypads. Press a main category by pressing A, B, or C. We'll press A. A menu will appear with five different categories of gameplay footage that we can select from. Let's go ahead and select number two, fast action. To change the volume control, once again, select key number 2007, place this into the lock on the door, turn and open the door. Your volume controls are mounted on the bottom of the television inside. Select your volume increase or volume decrease until you have a desired volume setting. Close and lock the door again. If your store does not have any of the interactive displays previously discussed, please call 1-800-875-1852. One of our field merchandisers will be dispatched to discuss the situation with your store manager. Thank you. Now that you know all about Nintendo's product line and how to use the interactive displays in your store, let's move on to some selling tips. There's three things to keep in mind when you're working at your store location. First of all, your primary task as a product demonstrator is to make sure that the customer walks home with a product that fits their exact needs. The second thing that you want to make sure that you do is check the product inventory at your store. Each morning when you come to work, make sure you know the different products, systems, and accessories that are available to you. That way you can recommend the right product for your consumer that day. And third, you want to make sure that in addition to systems, you also introduce the consumer to the different accessories as well as game packs available for each of our systems. Talking to consumers can be intimidating. No customer wants to be pushed into a purchase, and we don't want you to be a hard sell either. We would like you to be assertive, though. Talk to the different consumers that come into your area. Ask them questions to find out what their needs are. To help guide you through your talks with consumers, we've come up with a few different questions to help you along the way. Begin by asking them what are the features they're looking for in video games, and then ask them why they like these features. This can help you uncover unspoken needs that the consumer may have. Second of all, it's a good idea to ask the consumer how old the game player is going to be and how many game players there may be in the household. If there's more than one game player, you can offer the accessory that allows four player simultaneous play. And number three, you want to find out how experienced the game player is. That way you know whether to recommend an NES, a Super NES, or the Game Boy system. Using the answers to these questions, you can guide the consumer to the product that best fits their needs. Please make sure you use the laminated sheets that are provided in the back of the binder. This way you don't have to memorize the answers and the customers can see for themselves the products that best fit them. If you're not able to bring the customer to a purchase decision, feel free to hand them one of the brochures provided. The Power of Choice brochure contains information on all three systems. It also contains the consumer service hotline number so they can call Nintendo Direct if they have any questions when they get home. What about the competition? We here at Nintendo feel our games speak for themselves. We have the highest quality product as well as the best ongoing support. But we know the questions still come up. As we developed this training program, we spoke to our merchandisers. 
there at each of your stores every day, and they talk to a lot of our customers. We thought we'd get a list of the common questions that come up and ask the expert. Joining me today is Tim Dale, part of our Team Nintendo. Hi, Shelley. Hi, Tim. And I wanted to ask Tim some of the key questions that come up. First of all, Tim, what I want to know is, why should someone buy the Super NES when the NES is such a good product to begin with? The Super NES is mostly for the game enthusiast and someone who has had a Nintendo Entertainment System for anywhere from two to three years. So, Tim, why is the Super NES better? What's the difference? This system is amazing. It's, uh, it's got so many features that make it unique to the 16-bit systems out on the market right now. For instance, it can scale and rotate its images, and it, it just adds more depth to the, to the gameplay. Uh, its ability to zoom and pan, it's, it's just incredible the way that the system can do all these things, and it makes it so much more lifelike. I've heard a lot about the sound on the Super NES. What's that? The sound is probably one of the most amazing things on this new system. Normally when you play a video game, you're used to hearing blips and bleeps and, and most of the electronic noises. With the Super NES, it has a fully digital stereo sound, an 8-bit processor dedicated just to the sound. And you can have actual voices and uh, realistic sound effects on here. Some of the soundtracks you'll hear on these new system, on the new games coming out for the system are just amazing. Orchestrated, and it's just beautiful the way that they go through with the game. It's almost like watching a movie. You know, Tim, that sounds incredible, but $200 is a lot of money. Well, Shelley, as the 31 million owners of a Nintendo Entertainment System currently know, Nintendo means that you're going to have years of entertainment. It, uh, it's almost an investment on long-term entertainment. In fact, 93% of the people that currently own an NES uh, are still playing that five times a week. Wow. Yeah. Well, you got me sold on the Super NES. Why would I even consider buying the NES, then? Both of these systems provide different types of entertainment. Uh, someone who is just coming into the field uh, of video games would very much enjoy owning a, a Nintendo Entertainment System. It's a great system to start on, and if you're an enthusiast and you've played video games for quite a while, you might be looking for the Super NES. Tim, I know a little bit about your history. You used to be one of the gameplay counselors that helped consumers through those tough spots in the game. Where do they go if they need help now? There are still 200 game counselors that are available seven days a week. You can call them on our hotline. The area code is 206-885-7529. And they're available Monday through Saturday, the hours of 4 a.m. to 12 a.m. and on Sunday, 8 to 5. Great. Thanks, Tim. Joining me now is Serena Hennigan. She's also part of the Nintendo team. She will help us answer some of the other difficult questions consumers bring up. Welcome, Serena. Hi, Sally. One of the things I want to ask you is, Tim spent a lot of time convincing me that the Super NES is the product of the future. What is your plans for the NES? Are you guys going to discontinue that? Oh, no. We have uh, 31 million units of our uh, Nintendo Entertainment System out there, 65 million players. And we're going to continue to make games for them, for the people who enjoy playing on that. Serena, I want to know about repair. How difficult is it to get these systems serviced after you purchase them? Well, Nintendo has a nationwide network of world-class service centers that are conveniently located in most metropolitan areas that can work on the NES, the Super NES, or the Game Boy system. Great. So, Serena, how many games are available for the NES? For the NES, we have over 450 games available at this time. Wow. Um, I know there's a lot of users for the Game Boy. How many games are available for the Game Boy? 115 right now. Wow. Okay. Well, I can see where we have two great products, the NES and the Super NES. If both of them are so good and we're planning on, on keeping them for long term, how come we didn't come out with an adapter? Well, actually, as I said, we have 31 million units out there, and most people who own those really do have an adapter. What do you mean? Well, you can hook them both up together with the same TV without any hooking and unhooking and not a lot of technology involved. So that for those 31 million people, and they're projected to be uh, purchases of our new 16-bit uh, Super Nintendo Entertainment System, they can just hook it right up. So those people, for us to put an adapter on there and charge them for that would really be paying for something they don't need. So it's really saving them some money. Okay, I get it. Okay, so if that's the case, tell me, um, I want to go back to this Game Boy product that's available. I hear uh, the competition has some really fancy features. Theirs has color. How come ours doesn't? Well, for one thing, um, it's lightweight. Our Game Boy is lightweight. And with color, the batteries last just a few hours, four to six hours. And hours last for much, much longer than that. Okay. And that's one of the advantages of not having a color screen is that really, in the long run, uh, it's cheaper. 
Okay. Um, who is the one of the recommended users of that Game Boy system? Well, almost anybody. Okay. Little kids enjoy it. Women love the Game Boy. It's portable. It can be taken on trips on planes and uh, trains <laughs> and boats. <laughs> I found that in talking to people, everybody enjoys the Game Boy. Over, over half of the users on the Game Boy are adults. Great. Um, Serena, if there was one important message that you could tell me, um, what is it? What's the most important thing about buying or selecting any video game system? Well, I think we need to look at the family entertainment. That's the most important thing that I can look at. And Nintendo's totally committed to quality family entertainment. Okay. Thanks, Serena. All the information that we've provided in these little talks here are on the laminated sheets that were included in the back of your binder. The information is bulleted out on each of those sheets. You don't have to give all the information each time a consumer asks a question, but you can certainly pull those out and reference them and let the consumer read for themselves what's important about each of these questions. I've been hearing a lot about this. Can you explain to my mom why it's such a great system? Yeah, I sure can. This is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and it has what we call as a 16-bit processor. That means it can process a whole lot of information faster. It has more advanced graphics on it and scaling and rotation. All that means is that you get a lot more depth to gameplay, and it has a lot more realistic games for it. Well. That's wonderful, but uh, can you explain why the $200 price tag? It seems a little expensive for a game. Hmm. Okay, the um, Super Nintendo Entertainment System offers long-term entertainment value. And what we mean by that is, let me give you an example of our NES system. It's been out for about five years, and it is still used by 93% of our customers five times a week. Plus, this system, when you purchase it, you get two controllers in one of the hottest games in the Super Mario series called Super Mario World. Hmm. Sounds great. <laughs> Why don't you come on over here and take a look at it? Okay. This system has about um, 28 games available for it by January, and then it will also have 45 by next spring. The game you're looking at right now is called F-Zero, and it shows a lot of the realism that I was talking about. Uh -huh. When you play it, it's actually like being in a car. All you need to do is just hold down the B button here and move your control of your car back and forth like that. Wow, that's great. Hi. Hi. My oldest son and I are basically looking for a system, but I'm really confused at the choices that are out there, and I was wondering if you could uh, just tell me about the choices I have in game system. Sure. Um, I'd, I'd like to ask you a couple questions, and then I have a comparison chart that might help us out. Um, you're looking for your son. How old is he? He's eight. Okay. And how much gameplay experience does he have? Well, he's not a real avid game player, but all the kids at school have a Nintendo system, and he really wants one. Okay. What kind of different games does he like? Do you know? He likes uh, football, along with the two other boys at home. Okay. Uh, they really enjoy that. Basically, all sports games. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this chart. Um, we have three different systems available, but from the information you've given me, it sounds like the Nintendo Entertainment System might be the best one for you. This is one that's been out since November of 1985. There's over 430 games available for it and a large selection of sports games. If we look at the different um, game systems that are out there, Sounds like the NES Sports Set might fit you. Um, it comes with a dual game pack, and both of them are sports games. It's World Cup Soccer and Super Spike V-Ball. It also comes with a controller called the Satellite, and that allows four different kids or four kids to play at one time. So your three kids, as well as yourself, could sit down and enjoy a family evening of playing these sports games. So I think that might be the system you're looking for. That definitely sounds like the system for us. Great. Hey, Dad, look at this. Wow, that's great. Hi, 
Hi. I'm looking for a gift for my husband for the holidays. Okay. Uh, he's a kid at heart. He's always playing the Nintendo Entertainment System. In fact, if he could, he'd take it to work with him. Okay. Um, I was thinking of buying another game for him, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Do you have something else in mind? Well, I have a couple games that he might be interested in, but I have a system that you might be interested in for him. Have you ever heard of the Nintendo Game Boy? I might have heard of it. Okay, well these kids are playing it over here right now, and the Game Boy system um, allows you to take a video game play with you. It's a portable unit. It comes with stereo headphones, and it comes with a Game Pack Tetris. There's over 115 games available for it out on the market. Oh, uh, well I noticed that it has a, uh, doesn't look like a colored screen. Um, I know there's another one out on the market that does have a colored screen. Mm -hmm. um, what can you tell me about that? Well, this has a black and white or almost a yellow color screen. It's called an LCD screen. And what that allows is longer gameplay on one set of batteries. The system comes with four batteries, and you can get about 30 hours of gameplay with those four batteries. Other systems only allow about four to six hours when you use a color screen. The other thing about the color screen is they're much heavier, so they impact the portability of it. This system would be really nice, fits in a briefcase, would be easy to take to work. That sounds great. You want to try it over here? Yeah, I'd love to. Okay, let's take a look. Hi. Hi. You know, I'm not terribly happy with your company these days. I'm sorry to hear that. Why? Well, you know, I've been a loyal consumer for the past three years. Mm -hmm. During that time, I've purchased a number of your products, including uh, controllers, software, cleaning kits. Now, my son tells me that you're coming out with a new system, the 16-bit system. Mm -hmm. And in that system, I'm not able to play the current games that I have. That's correct. The technological differences between the Nintendo Entertainment System and the Super Nintendo Entertainment System are comparable to a compact disc player and a cassette player that you might have in your home. A lot of people do. Uh, with those systems, they sit side by side, provide hours of entertainment, but technologically they're quite different. You can't take a cassette and put it into your CD player. Nintendo currently has 31 million Nintendo Entertainment Systems installed throughout the United States alone. Because of that, um, these consumers already have this adapter, so to speak, uh, in their homes. For us to provide an adapter with a Super Nintendo Entertainment System, we would be pushing product onto the consumers that already have the Nintendo Entertainment System and duplicating what we already have. Okay, so does that mean then that you're going to discontinue the 8-bit system? Oh, certainly not. Nintendo and its licensees are strongly committed to supporting not only the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, but the Nintendo Entertainment System and the handheld Game Boy system as well. That's something that Nintendo will continue to, to work with and work with its licensees on, on providing support all the way through. Um, connecting your Super Nintendo or your Nintendo Entertainment System, did you have any problems with that? You know, come to think of it, it was quite simple. The Super Nintendo Entertainment System is just as easy to connect. Instructions come with the unit to hook up the Super Nintendo Entertainment System right next to your Nintendo Entertainment System so that both are connected to your television set. If you have any additional questions, regarding hookup or the games themselves, you can call our consumer hotline toll free 1-800-255-3700. Do you have any other questions? The only other question that I would have is uh, where can I pick up one of the Super Nintendo Entertainment Systems? Sir, you can pick one up right over here. Hi, can I help you find something from the Game Boy line? Well, I don't know. I'm on my lunch hour and I don't really have much time. I just wanted to get something for my kids for Christmas. Okay. How many kids do you have? I have three and we already have one Game Boy. Okay. You might be interested in purchasing a second Game Boy. They come with something called a Game Link. It would allow two of the kids to play together with a game pack that's included Tetris. Oh, that would be great. Um, some other things you might be interested in for the kids would be something like the Game, game Boy carrying case. It's a hip pouch and it has neon pink on the front of it. It would allow them to carry the Game Boy as well as about six different games in the battery pack if you have that. Uh, yeah, we do have one of those already. Okay. Those would be great stocking stuffers. Why don't yeah, you give me a couple really... of those? Come on, let's have three. Okay. Um, and something else you might just want to be aware of. Um, when you have a lot of different games in the Game Boy, a nice item to have around for preventative maintenance is the cleaning kit. You might want to consider that as well. Okay. Oh, sure, I'll take one. Okay. 
Is there anything else I can help you with? No, I think that's it for today. Thanks very much. You're doing sure. great. In case you're wondering, the last two numbers are 6, 8. That's 6, 8. Oh. How do you like that system? It's great. Graphics are really cool. The, the sound's good. Uh huh. That's, that's the Nintendo one, the 16-bit, the new one? Yeah, it's the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. You know, there's another game that I was playing. Um, I forget the name of it, but it's really, really cool. And I don't think it's for the Nintendo. Well, if it's games you're looking for, Nintendo is definitely the product you'd be interested in. Nintendo has a history of bringing out game hit after game hit. I really like that one game, though, and I know that it wouldn't work with this system. Yeah, but you got to realize that one game doesn't make the system. You want to look at the history of a product and see how many good games that come out for it over time. With our NES product, we had over 430 games, and we're still coming out with more for that system. You can expect the exact same kind of support for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System as well. Well, that sounds pretty good. I know that the NES is, uh, there's lots of games available for that. Yeah, some of the games available for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System include F-Zero. That's the game that you were just playing. Mm -hmm. Some of the other games are Pilot Wings and Super Tennis. There's also a really awesome game called Ack Razor that really shows the great stereo sound available with the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. That's great. Uh, Nintendo is definitely a good name in, in games. Yeah, I think I'll take one of those. Okay, great. Thanks. So what happens if you get stuck? What if you need help? Well, you may not have Yoshi and Mario standing by to help you, but at the 1-800-Consumer-Service hotline at Nintendo's corporate offices, we have 200 reps waiting to answer any question you may encounter. These reps can help you understand our products better, as well as help you relate the different features and benefits of the products to each of your customers. If you do have any questions, please feel free to call 1-800-255-3700. At the end of each day, you can call in and get answers to any of those difficult questions you've encountered. Mario and Yoshi will be glad to help you out. If you are missing any items from your original starter kit, or you need to reorder supplies at any time during your job assignment, you want to call 1-800-875-1852. In the back of your binder, under supplies, you'll find detailed reorder information. You'll also find a supply quick reference sheet. Make sure you fill out this information completely before calling the 1-800 number. It requires that you get both a weekday and weekend store contact. This way, the people at the 1-800 number will know who to send the supplies to. This person, your store contact, will be responsible for getting those supplies directly to you. When you call to reorder the supplies, you just need to tell them which brochures or other items you need. Brochures will be sent out in bundles of 100, up to about 500 at a time. All the items will be sent to you by Federal Express, you should expect to receive them within 72 hours. If you do not have your supplies within 72 hours, please call the 1-800 number as soon as possible. Your items will either be tracked or resent immediately. You also want to note on your reorder information sheet your best time to call. Let's turn to the form section of our manual, and I'll show you how to fill out your hourly reimbursement form. At the top where it says account name, make sure you put your store's name. Also reference the store number and the store address as well. We would also like you to include your name, address, and home telephone number. Down at the bottom of the form, on the far right hand side, you'll see columns listed unit sales. We realize you will not be actually ringing up any of your customer sales but we would like you to keep track of how many customers purchase product based on your recommendations. Where it says TTL HW, that references the number of hardware sales. SW is software or game pack sales. And TTL ACC is the number of accessories that your customer purchased based on your recommendations. These forms need to be given to your store manager at the end of your job assignment.
Now let's turn to the area of your binder called Return Procedures. Here we will list all the different items that we would like you to return in your pre-addressed Federal Express envelope. Make sure that you return the evaluation that's included in this section, your apron, this training manual with the videotape, and all four laminated sheets, in addition to the three keys that you use to open your displays. You'll note on the next page there is an evaluation form. Please fill this out. Your feedback about the training program will be a valuable asset in future years. Make sure you note your six-digit key code on the first page of the training evaluation. When you're returning the items listed above, you want to make sure that you remove the air bill from the front of the Federal Express envelope and fill out neatly the information about where the items are coming from, namely your store location. When you've completed this, put the air bill back in the plastic pouch and give the envelope to your store manager. He'll make sure that the information goes out Federal Express. If you would like, you may also drop off a package at any Federal Express office or Federal Express drop box. As stated in the manual, you may keep the three Nintendo Player's Guides, the hat, the Game Boy keychain, not the key, and the Mario stand-up display. If you do not want the stand-up display, please completely destroy it. Once again, we'd like to thank you for your participation in the Power of Choice Demonstrator Program. We've covered a lot of information in the video. Feel free to read in detail about each of the steps in your training manual. Good luck and have fun. Thank you.